Hello and welcome to all the viewers. In this video, we will going to see different types of contacts in finite element analysis using ANSYS software. So you will find that this schematic shows the different types of contacts in ANSYS. So mainly we will discuss all these five contacts definitions. The first, let's discuss about what is the contact definition. In some simple word, when two separate bodies touch other in such a way that they became mutually tangent, then they are said to be in a contact. Now let's discuss about what are the different types of contact. So there are two major types of contacts. First is your linear contacts and another is your non-linear contacts. Now these two contacts are further subdivided into five types. So linear contacts are divided into bonded and no separation while non-linear contacts are divided into frictional, rough as well as frictionless contact. And the same definition you will find inside the details of a contact in a ANSYS. Now let's discuss the first important contact definition that is frictional contact. So this is usually the most realistic behavior available for the contact definitions. So which allows sliding with resistance proportional to a user defined coefficient of friction resulting separation without resistance. So if you see these are the two bodies and here it is allowing to free in normal direction as well as sliding in your tangential direction direction. So basically this sliding occurs only if your tangential force exceeds your normal force into coefficient of frictions. So as you aware that Coulomb's law F tangential is directly proportional to mu into F normal. So that is the contact or you can say that that is the law which governs your frictional contact. So if you see this simple body diagram here you will find that Ft if will only allows this body to move in this direction when Ft exceeds the product of your coefficient of friction as well as F normal. So frictionless contact is another type of nonlinear contacts. It allows no penetration but surfaces are free to slide. You can see that the surfaces are free to slide as well as free to separate without any resistance. So this case correspond to zero coefficient of friction between the contacting surface. So basically the bodies are free to separate as well as free to slide without any coefficient of friction. So the mu here in case of frictionless contacts is equal to zero. Now let's talk about the another point uh, type of nonlinear contact that is rough contact. When we talk about rough contact, it is similar to frictionless contact except no sliding is allowed. So basically this body will not going to slide with another body. So this correspond, this case correspond to infinite coefficient of friction case. So here only in this case only you can see that this body is free to separate but there is no sliding. Now let's discuss the case of linear contact. The very first, you can say the type of contact came into mind is a bonded contact. So, and this is also the most widely used of contact in a finite element analysis. So bonded contact does not allow the penetration, no separation and no sl sliding between the faces, edges that are in a close or near open status. So basically, when you have a target at normal bodies, it will not allow you to separate as well as it will not allow you to slide. So basically, there is no relative motion between the contact and target body. Now let's talk about the another type of linear contact that is no separation contact. So this case uh, is similar to your bonded contact. Only the difference is that here, the frictionless sliding can occur in a direction tangent to the contacting faces. So if you see here, it allows your frictionless sliding in a direction tangent to the contacting faces. Okay. So these are the five major types of contacts. Now let's discuss about the few example where we can use these types of 
content. So this slide represent the practical examples where we can define these different types of contacts. So let's discuss first the linear contact where we can define linear contact. Uh, the first one is a bonded contact. So if you see this schematic represents your ball wall. So here uh, you need to think where we can define a bonded contact. So when we talk about bonded contact, there are three conditions you need to satisfy. That is no penetration, no separation and no sliding. So if you see uh, this coupling and the pipe connection or you can say here the threaded connection is there so you can idealize this threaded connection with the help of bonded contact the another uh, location you can define here between this rod and this or you can say between this handle and between this nerd okay this is the another example of bonded contacts now let's discuss the another uh, linear contact that is no separation so it is similar to a bonded only here or some sort of sliding is allowed so here you can see that this square block is moving on a shaft. So you can define here a no separation contact between these two contacting faces. The another example you can see here, uh, this is nothing but your uh, slider mechanism where this square block will move on these two rods. So here you can define a no separation contact if you are simulating a linear simulation. If you are simulating non-linear simulation, then in that case, you can use a frictionless contacts between these two rods rods and a, your square block okay so when we talk about frictionless contact the mu is the coefficient of friction is zero now let's discuss the another non-linear contact that is a frictional contacts so if you see this schematic is nothing but your lip spring so basically the lip spring is depends on uh, the friction between these uh, friction pads. So here you can define the coefficient of friction and then you can simulate this lip spring. Okay, the another example of frictional contact is you can the gear pair where uh, you will find this gears will move with each other. This gears will move with each other with some coefficient of friction. Now let's discuss the rough contact. It is also a non-linear contact, but here the coefficient of friction is infinite. So here you can uh, take the example like uh, this cover as well as this casing between these two bodies. You can define this rough contact. Okay. And the another example like uh, here, this is nothing but your flange and gasket connection, flange connection between which you will find this red color is nothing but gasket as well as you will find this bolt connection. So here, between the gasket, you can define frictional connection and between the nut and washer or between the washer and flange, you can define the bonded contacts. So likewise, based on your practical example, you can use these different types of contact and perform the simulation. So we are further adding the description, uh, description of all these contacts along with the setting in our blog page. So please do visit our blog post. Uh, like www.graphsengineering.com for the more explanation on contacts.